Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So, yeah, I think I have some explaining to do. The uh, kid is getting big, man. He's uh, in that Pokemon phase. So first off, I just want to say thank you so much for the support and love y'all showed on the Types of Bongo Players video. Super fun to make, man. It took me a couple months actually to, to kind of put all that together and make sure it's all edited well. And yeah, I know it's just a couple minutes of fun and little jokes, but you know, kind of speaks a little bit of the truth. I also had some questions about the head. Um, actually, no, I did not tune it to the point where it was so tight that my head actually ripped. I think one day I left my bongos here after recording all day and I didn't untune it. But I didn't tune it that high where, you know, it'd get kind of messed up that way. But I think it was a little bit too close to the window I have up here because I normally place my bongos up here in storage. And next day I see it's ripped. So this was such a good head. But I got same, it's a horse head and I got it for the macho, so it's a little bit thicker this time, so yeah, but this was beautiful. Lasted a long time, actually. Not a long time, about a year, but you know, yeah. Wish it would have lasted longer, but that, I think that's my fault. User error, user error. But first, I do want to apologize for not having consistent videos up, especially to kind of end the year. It's crazy because I was actually projected to hit really good numbers on YouTube, but I just needed a break. And at the same time, uh, I was recording a lot from home. I was doing other things to kind of make income. And uh, unfortunately, YouTube doesn't pay as much in regards to that. And my channel's at a point where at least I'm getting an okay amount so I wouldn't have to upload as much. But other things were in the way as well as my son you know, doing his thing and I got to spend a lot of time with my family, which was very much needed. And also, I think I should disclose, I still haven't been sick with La Corona de la Vida. Thank goodness I haven't been hit with that. Me and my wife have been good, been careful. My son's been careful. We're grateful that that hasn't hit our home yet. Um, hopefully it doesn't. But yeah, that's not the reason why I've been out. But as I look back and reflect on this year, man, it was crazy, you know, all the highs, all the lows, the craziness of this year. And just, uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta be grateful. Grateful for what you have and grateful for what you're able to do. I'm grateful to be able to do this from home and I do miss gigging, man. Do miss gigging, seriously. I miss playing live, I miss doing all that. And it's a part of me that kinda, I think, why I need a little break from doing YouTube because I just missed performing live, man. I missed missed that feeling. Seriously, do. Um, but yeah, you know, um, this year it is what it is, man. You know, hopefully next year every musician out there could come back stronger, do things their way, and literally come out with a vengeance, man, with a vengeance. And uh, that's my plan for 2021. I really do um, want to continue doing these videos and continue doing that. Uh, I know there's a lot of things that I didn't get to do this year and I think that's on me. That's on me, you know, but you gotta, you know, forgive me guys. I, I, the circumstances are what they are. And sometimes you just, yeah, just throw this year out the window. Hi. <sighs> <sighs> it's mine. <laughs> But yeah, you guys let me know what else do you want to see on this channel. Comment down below. I know that we have a lot of Gonga stuff, a lot of Bongo stuff, and I know people are actually asking for more Bongo stuff. So I need to do that. And I do need to incorporate more other, like, other percussion instruments and things like that. So please let me know what you guys think I should keep on doing, maybe not do anymore. You know, I want this to be a collaborative effort. I think we should all learn from this, not just you, but me as well. But let's get into making a very easy funk track. So the first thing that you actually have to do is decide on a pulse or a beat or a tempo, something that you feel comfortable in that you can actually kind of be able to keep on doing that groove. So if I'm thinking of funk, I'm thinking of like maybe a guitar riff like So 
that's kind of what you have to try to look for. Like, what are you going to try to fit this track in or the feel that you want to incorporate? So for that, that's probably going to be my pause. So I'm gonna to try to look for that BPM in my DAW. So, and if you don't know the things that I'm gonna be using, I'll link how you can record from home if you wanna start tracking from home. So I'm gonna start a new project and I'm gonna to try to find a beat or a pulse that I think I can groove with and kind of work with, so. I think that works, you know. Yeah, I think it could work. So that is going to be, I'm at 120. So I'm gonna try to work with that. So my starting point is probably going to be maybe a shaker, all right? So we're gonna do a shaker. Shaker first. Now that was fun, just locked in. Now, let's add a tambourine, but not the conventional bop, bop, you know, one, two, not, not, not that, that one. Let's add something with a little bit more taste, something accented. It is literally the hardest thing to record with a kid at home because this kid is just is wild. You guys are gonna see in the actual video how he's just like trying to stop me from recording. So yeah, this kid, look at him. <laughs> Why are you acting wild? So for the next part, let's actually add a basic cowbo pattern. Very, very common in funk. Um, but you're gonna start hearing how it's gonna start sounding a lot more full so then when we start adding gongas then it's going to sound pretty legit So I figured that just to add more spice necessarily you don't have to do this if you have a drummer, but why not add some cajon bass with a snare? Just to add a little bit more spice. Spice? I play so now, now you, you sit down. Then, oh, then you hit it right here. What do you think of the setup, Mateo? I think not this one. Okay, go ahead, hit it. Oh yeah.
Again, kind of fun adding a snare and cajon. Again, super not necessary, especially if you're gonna be using a drummer or drum tracks or something like that. Uh, but I just thought I'd add it so you guys kind of get a different perspective. But to end this video, I'm just going to add a melodic funk pattern and I think it would help kind of put everything all together. But thank you guys, thank you so much for a wonderful year, for a wonderful 2020. Thank you for all the continued support. Thank you for all the new subscribers, man. All the comments, all the shares, all the likes. Seriously, I am beyond grateful for this platform, for this channel, for each and every one of you, to all my day ones, man, and everybody that's literally stuck around and been patient with me. I am beyond grateful and I am looking forward to next year and to do better things and try to grow and try to be better at this and try to help as many people as possible because that's what it is a percussion life you gotta love it now let's get funky